Derek O'Brien, TMC Rajya Sabha leader, joins us. Uh, he was there at the Patna meeting. Appreciate your joining us, Derek O'Brien. If I'm not mistaken, I was told you were at the lunch table with Praful Patel of the NCP. And the same Praful Patel was on my show last night saying this Mahagadbandan is a non-starter. One of the reasons we've joined hands with the BJP. The BJP and the leadership of Modi is what we trust. This Mahagadbandan is not going to take off. Your response. I can tell you who else was at that lunch table and I can tell you who else was at that meeting because that's important. The people at the meeting, and I'm not talking about people like me who were accompanying our leaders, leave them out. There were all parties had one or two people accompanying their party president. At that meeting, party president, party chief, that group of core leaders, including my leader Mamta Banerjee, Mr. Karge, Rahul Gandhi, Mr. Stalin, Mr. Kejriwal, Mr. Pawar, Mr. Akhilesh Yadav, that if you take that one group, that adds up to about 25 terms of chief minister. That group adds up to about 50 terms as members of parliament. That group adds up to 400 years of public life. That is all of them. That group together. adds up, Mr. Derek O'Brien, to less than 150 offering? MPs. I see. So you finished. Let me. I was giving you my explanation. You've already done the survey. 150 MPs. That group has obviously had some serious effect, because after the Patna summit, less than 10 days ago, the washing machine. Businesses started and by the way you keep using the washing machines what I have picked up is that the washing machine association of India May object to the term washing machine being used because it's an insulting the BJP's actions are even insulting the washing machines But on a more serious note What is on offer? Let's say what is on offer because in 2024 and beyond that three or four basic issues on offer on one side what we are humbly offering the country is democracy. On the other side, there's dictatorship. We're offering the young people, the country, jobs and controlling price rise. On the other side, no jobs, no control of price rise. And we are offering the country that the guiding book will be the constitution, federalism, and on the other side, break it all up. And there's one other no, very no, what important is your thing. No, 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 no. All very well, like job. No, no, where, 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 is your, where is your clear, economic, point, agenda? Where is your clear economic agenda? Where is your clear economic agenda? Where is the political cohesion? Where is Mr. the chemistry? Sandesai. Very nice. Mr. Sardesai, what are you asking me about? Mr. Economic agenda. You're asking me about political agenda. You're asking me about chemistry. Let me talk to you first. Before chemistry, let's talk about humility. At the Patna summit and at the Bengaluru summit and in the forthcoming summits, we have the humility to say that we don't know everything, that we occasionally make mistakes and we can fix those mistakes. You've asked me three questions on economic agenda, political agenda and something else. Did you or anybody else in your very respected channel ask the Prime Minister any of these questions when he came to you? You didn't. You ask us the questions, we have the humility to come on your channels and try and answer the questions. That's the difference, Mr. Sardesai. We have the humility to admit that we don't have perfect answers, but we do not agree that Manipur should not be discussed. A leader from the Congress party went to Manipur. My leader, Mamta Banerjee, wrote a letter in June. That's the difference. And I really believe this is not the time to shout and come up with catchy slogans, no. The people of India have seen enough of this arrogance. And you talk about the BJP, it's not the BJP. It's Mr. Modi and Mr. Amit Shah's no, no. BJP. No, no. They disrespect no, no. parliament. Mr. They Mr. Derek O'Brien, Mr. Derek O'Brien, I, I will put a direct question to you. Since your Patna meet, Aam Aadmi Party and yes. the Congress have been in a war of words here in Delhi. Patna, Patna. Since, no, no, one minute, one minute. Since the Patna meet, a Congress leader of Karnataka was arrested, senior Congress leader was, in Kerala was arrested by the left rule government there. Since that meet, K. Chandrasekhar Rao is now wooing the likes of Akhilesh Yadav. Since the Patna meet, you've got your panchayat elections in Bengal where you are contesting against the left and the Congress. 
I, you know, chemistry matters at the moment, and you've got Sharad Pawar's party that has split wide open, including one of the participants there, Praful Patel, shifting to the other side. So therefore, the question arises, the Maha Gadbandan that you are talking about, to some observers, will appear like a Maha Khichdi, which is not yet cooked. So that's a 55 second question. If you ask me a 55 second question, then you must give me at least a 120 second answer. Because you've raised multiple yes. issues. First, we are different political, we are different political parties. We're not photocopies of each other. Mm -hmm. Straight up. There are different issues and those are issues which will not be discussed in the Bengaluru summit. First, we have to get a broad agreement. We are not one majoritarian, one size fits all. No. We are 15, 14, 16, 18 democratic parties. That doesn't mean we don't run in a system where whatever two leaders of the Patna summit say, everyone must follow. No, we are not Modi and Shah. That's the difference. I was at that meeting and let me tell you, the graciousness, the generosity of the senior leaders there who spoke, from my leader, Ms. Mamta Banerjee, to Mr. Stalin, to Mr. Gandhi, to Mr. Akhilesh Yadav, to Arvind Kejriwal, to Sharad Pawar, to Omar Abdullah, Something very serious happened there. It was much more than a lunch mm -hmm. and it was much more, it was sharing. No, no, it's all very well to share, yes. Mr. O'Brien. We it's all very ahead. well Thank to share thoughts at a lunch. Uh, the yes. reality on the ground. No, Mr. O'Brien. Yes, what is the reality? The reality you and the left and the Congress are the in, reality, a battle, uh, uh, in, the reality, in a war in Bengal. That's the reality. Aam Aadmi Party versus Congress is a battle. This is the reality. Please, please understand. No, no, no. Mr. Sardesai, you're using these words like war. We are fighting panchayat elections in Bengal. Yes, the local leadership in Bengal of different parties have different alignments. Mr. Kejriwal and Mr. Congress and the Congress party have a different point of view about Punjab and Delhi. Let's go back to January on your shows, January 2023. Would you have imagined there would have been a Patna summit? Would you have imagined there'd be a Bengaluru summit? Let me confirm here on your program, I'm not the spokesperson on behalf of the summits, but my sense is there'll be a third summit and there'll be a fourth summit. And because the feeling one got at that meeting, and this is not a negative feeling about removing Modi and removing BJP, no, mm -hmm. it's a positive feeling about restoring the basics of democracy, of federalism, of, I, of deep what? divisive, I, of deep, deep divisive inter-religious... Let me finish my thought. Yes. You know, Mr. Sardesa, you know you're normally not like this. But today, you're, you, because you're from Maharashtra, you're no, getting no, no, a little more excellent. No, no, I, I will ask you a simple ask me, the next question. Mr. O'Brien, Mr. O'Brien, a final question. I heard a lot of this in 2019 as well. Ahead of the 2019 elections, you all went to Mr. Kumaraswamy swearing in, all of you were holding each other's hands. Now you attend Siddharamaya swearing in and you do the Patna meeting. What happened in 2019? How is, final question, how is 2024 going to be any different from 2019? It's already very different. It's already very different. You know, I'll, I'll make one last point about how different it is. Mr. Garinter against corruption, Mr. Modi. Few days ago, he said, I'm the guarantor of corruption. The story for India is only one story. This man is the guarantor for corruption, wants to please 100 people. This is the guarantor for corruption who can fill the Narendra Modi Stadium in Ahmedabad with the corrupt people in his party. Who will you trust as a guarantor for corruption? In Bengal, you will trust Ms. Mamta Banerjee. She's your guarantor for corruption. In the Congress states, you will trust. Rahul Gandhi and the local leadership to be the guarantor for corruption. Mr. O'Brien, there is a long Mr. list of TMC leaders also who face charges Oda of Sakir. corruption. So don't tell me about corruption. There are TMC leaders who also face serious Sorry? charges of corruption. You said what? There are TMC leaders who also face serious charges of corruption. Exactly. Exactly. Mr. Sardesai, Mr. Sardesai, you've, you've said something about TMC leaders, so you have to give me an opportunity to reply. The two TMC leaders who have faced charges of corruption, have been expelled and suspended from the party. Hold on. Those who want the washing machine to be used for their corruption, what did they do? Whether they are from Worli, 
whether they are from Madhya Pradesh, whether they are from wherever in the country, what do you do? You join the BJP. You go in with your black t-shirt and you come out with a white t-shirt. Okay. We are very, very clear. Don't take us, please underestimate us. You, I, I want all of you to underestimate this Bangalore summit. You keep underestimating us, you I'm keep underestimating us. Please carry on doing that. I'm not We're underestimating not anyone. I've been television. long enough in this business We're to know who knows what tomorrow <laughs> brings. I'm not a soothsayer. My job <laughs> is always <laughs> is to ask the questions. Correct. Eric O'Brien looking spiffy in his blue t-shirt. Thank thanks very much for joining me here on the news today.